you guys, it's coming to another murder for you guys, and this is my reviewing. This is a movie that I was very curious in, to say the least, but I didn't really know how it was going to turn out, but I figured I would watch it now, and that, of course, is Better Watch Out. And with this movie, it's kind of hard to talk about the general premise, but without spoiling too much, essentially what this film is about is we center on this character, Ashley, and she is babysitting this kid, Luke, who she's known pretty much since, you know, they were both young kids, and she's babysat him for a very long time. However, this night is very different because what starts off as a very normal night between them when Luke is clearly trying to flirt with her, uh, there appears to be a home invasion sort of going on, and that's really all I'm gonna say. So, better watch out. Uh, like I said, this was a movie that I really didn't know how it was going to be. The trailer made this look like a so bad it's good kind of movie, like a very over-the-top acting, really ridiculous moments, but something that I would overall have fun with, so I really didn't know what I was going to get here. However, to my surprise, this movie, like, really great ratings, at like a 92% on Rotten Tomatoes, so, like I said, I was very interested in seeing how this would turn out, and to my surprise, not only is Better Watch Out a really fun movie, it's a genuinely great movie. I really really enjoyed Better Watch Out. It is a wholly original film that is very different than your typical Christmas movies, and uh, we're getting into that right now, starting off with the cast. And one of the things I love about this film is the cast is pretty much constructed of several different child actors over the years, and there's a lot of different characters in this movie, but let's first talk about Olivia Dejan as uh, Ashley, and this of course is the actress from The Visit who I really like there, and I think I liked her even more in this movie. I really like the character of Ashley, like I said, she is the babysitter that's really just trying to do everything right, uh, you know, she's trying to, um, you know, really help out Luke, but at the same time, she doesn't want to cross that line because Luke is coming on to her throughout the film, and I thought she definitely did a really great job here. I really did like her character, how much of a go-getter she was, and how much, you know, um, how, how in charge she really wanted to be. I just really liked the way the character thought she definitely was really great here, and I think we're definitely going to see a lot from her, um, you know, in the coming years, so definitely be on the lookout for her for sure. However, easily the standout in this movie is Levi Miller as Luke, which I know a lot of people were not a fan of this actor in Pan, and I can't say anything about that because I actually haven't seen Pan. But if you guys were worried, don't let that fool you because he is amazing in this movie. Now, I don't want to get into why Luke is so great in this film because it does involve spoilers, but without spoiling anything... Luke is the type of character that is infatuated with Ashley. He wants to do whatever he can to basically get into her pants. He, uh, you know, is drinking throughout the film. He, you know, is watching horror movies with her. I mean, they have a very interesting bond. And he also has this really weird, uh, just very eccentric exterior to him and he really did an incredible job with that i really love that about his character his character goes in really weird directions towards the end of this film but levi miller really rose to the task very well especially like i said after the twist is revealed in this movie he did amazing work after that and uh i think definitely he was the absolute star here and i definitely want to see more from him after this film for sure and then the rest of the cast here, I also really enjoyed. Ed Oxenbold was probably my favorite character in this movie as a character of Garrett. He is uh, Luke's very loyal best friend, and he has to make a lot of questionable decisions um, in this film. Again, without spoiling anything, but where they take his character, I really loved. I thought he did a really good job. I thought it was interesting the way that both of the kids from The Visit were in another movie together, but he really has aged over the years you've seen, and he uh, his acting as well, I think, has gotten increasingly better. He was great in The Visit, but he was even better here, and I really loved what he did. Uh, Patrick Warburton is good in this movie. Can't really say a ton about him, neither for Virginia Madsen, because they're actually not in this movie a ton, but for what they did, they were really good, as well as Decree Montgomery. I really thought everyone, honestly, did a really good job. I thought the entire cast, uh, everyone was just very well cast, and that's something I definitely was very impressed with this film. So now let's get to the directing and the writing, because holy shit do I have a lot to say about this movie. First of all, this movie, yes, it does take place during the holidays, and yes, there's a lot of Christmas music, but this is not. 
not a Christmas movie. I assure you right now, do not watch this movie during Christmas. It is severely deranged, it is very fucked up, and it is not at all a movie that will give you the Christmas cheer. This is a very hard R, um, surprisingly, and I really did love how far this movie did go, but it also is a lot of fun, and that's something I really enjoy about this movie, is that this movie does go some really crazy directions, but it's not afraid to have fun with itself. It knows that it's a bit ridiculous, it doesn't take itself too, too seriously, and that's something I definitely did enjoy, and I was definitely having a lot of fun with this movie, and early on in the film, the uh, laughs in the film work really well. I was laughing throughout pretty much. There really wasn't a moment where I couldn't, there might have been maybe a few moments here and there, but for the most part, most of the jokes hit really hard, and that's something I definitely did appreciate with this film, and the writing. Like I said, it's difficult to talk about this movie because, again, just like Brigsby Bear, there is a major twist in the first, I'd say, 20 or 30 minutes of this film, and it kind of spoils the entire movie if you know what it is, and if you've seen the trailer, unfortunately you know what it is. Um, I, I don't want to say the how and the why, but the trailer actually spoils the twist. Thankfully, I didn't remember the trailer at all, but... Um, the writing is fantastic to this film. This is probably one of the best type of screenplays of its kind in a while, and that's something I really do love, is how wholly original this movie is. Because the movie starts off, and you think it's going to go in this really very typical direction that films like this usually go, and it really doesn't. It's something completely different entirely, and I was very impressed by the way they did do that, and I thought that was definitely very impressive here. Also, the way this movie um, portrays teenagers, I thought was really accurate, especially an early scene between Levi Miller and Ed Oxenbold. Just the way they were talking, it just felt very relatable. Like, that's, that's exactly how kids their age talk. I thought that was very well handled, and that's something I definitely did enjoy, is the way that, um, they really did get you into these characters, and I thought there was, again, just, the dialogue was very relatable in that way, and it felt very much like, yeah, this is definitely how typical teenagers talk, and I definitely really did appreciate that, and there's a lot of messages in this movie, you know, about unrequited love and infatuation and things like that, and it goes to some really, really crazy directions with that concept, again, I'm not going to talk about, but I thought it was definitely very well handled. Uh, also, the horror aspect of this movie, this movie is a horror movie. Movie. I'll say that right now. It is definitely a horror movie for sure. It's a comedy, but it's also a horror movie. It really does combine those two very well. Um, it, again, has some really original scares. It doesn't just do jump scares every five seconds. It actually does find a way to be really creepy and suspenseful. And this movie honestly might have some of the most suspenseful moments of the entire year. I was honestly at the edge of my seat at some points, and I thought they handled that extremely well. I was just very impressed when it came to the writing here. The cinematography is fantastic to this film, especially for a film that was VOD. This looks like a movie that should have gone a theatrical release, and I I'm not really sure why. I'm pretty sure did like some film fe film festivals and things like that, but this is a film that I really could have seen gotten a major release. The only reason I think it didn't is because of how truly twisted it really is. I mean, again, I'm not going to say anything, but it really does go into some twisted directions. And I think because of that, that probably is why they kept the film from being released in theaters. Uh, but you know, I think the cinematography was just very well handled here, and again, while it's not a great Christmas movie, there are some moments that actually did put me in the Christmassy mood, but that's really only in the first 20 minutes. The first 20 minutes is like a typical, just, uh, silly Christmas movie, and then it turns into something completely different, and... That's something I definitely did really like. I thought the score here as well was really great, honestly. I, I really did like the score here. There's some great Christmas music, but there's also some a really demented and creepy score that I definitely really did like. And then the editing. Uh, this movie, for me, really fly by. It's 89 minutes long, and it really just flies by like that. I was into it pretty much the whole time. Maybe in the beginning it dragged a little bit, but there really wasn't a moment where I could say, oh, I was bored, I wasn't into it. I was pretty much into the movie for the duration of the film. Really, my only complaints I have with the film is as good as Levi Miller was, there's no way you can convince me that this kid is 12, okay? He's really good in the film, and he really does a great job, but no matter what you do, you can't convince me this kid is 12. This kid looks like a freshman in high school, and there's no way you can do that. But again, that's a nitpick. It's it's silly. It's not something that really hurts this film. Really, the biggest complaint I have is later on in the film, they make attempts to flesh out a certain character, 
and while they try to do it, they then don't do it. Like, if you feel like they're gonna flesh out this character, maybe give you a bit of a backstory, but then they backpedal from it, and it didn't work for me. It honestly left me kind of frustrated, and luckily the ending really paid off. The ending is probably one of the most satisfying endings of the entire year. I really love the ending to this movie, and uh, the way the movie ends, there could very well be a sequel. I think they, they honestly did set up where there could possibly be a sequel to this movie, and I'd definitely be down, because like I said, it's something that's very different, it's very original, and especially the direction the movie took, I really want to see where they can go with this overall concept, and that's something I definitely really did enjoy. Better Watch Out is just one of the most enjoyable, uh, suspenseful, but also one of the most different horror films I've seen in a very long time. I know Get Out was very different, but this one's even more different than that. It takes certain genre cliches and really turns it on its head, and I think they really did a great job with that. And it takes this twist, like I said, that really does recontextualize a lot of the overall narrative, and I think they handled that perfectly with this film. And like I said, while I don't think this movie is a good Christmas movie, I could very well see this becoming a cult classic. Like, this is a film where I could I could te definitely see in, like, a couple years it goes on to Netflix and everyone starts taking note of it and everyone starts watching it and there's all these memes and things like that. I can definitely see that happening with this film for sure. And I really hope it does happen because it's a movie not a lot of people have talked about and I really do hope more people try to check it out because, as I said, it really does, it, it really is worth a watch for sure. It's very different and it's very fun up but it definitely is worth the watch whenever you guys get a chance to watch it better watch out i overall really did enjoy it's not a movie i think everyone's gonna love but it's a film that i'm very happy i did in fact check out and i am overall going to give better watch out a b plus so overall, guys, I'm going to better watch out overall. Let me know what you guys thought of this movie. If you have seen it, I uh, definitely would love to hear your thoughts on it. Again, don't watch it during the Christmas season. It might take place during Christmas, but don't let it fool you. It is not at all a good Christmas movie to watch for sure. But that's my review. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in my next video, and I will see you guys for that. Okay, bye.